Hey everyone, Zayf here, welcome to Dark Sword Overview. This is releasing outside of the usual schedule and I'm pretty sure it's because the developers are based somewhere in Asia and I'm pretty sure this game was meant for their market as well as I'm familiar with them because back in the day in my <laughs> mobile gaming days I was playing a game called Summoner's War or something like that so it was really surprising to see them on the official store today and coming out with a VR game like I would never expect that. So Dark Sword is a hack and slash action RPG game where you get literally thrown in into the world of twisted corridors in the midst of all chaos and craziness to battle it out on the arenas against the demonic enemies. I already played the game and it's pretty impressive for what it is because yes it is like a pure action and arcade even game though with a gameplay that we're not necessarily used to normally we pursue to have everything physics based and just go into the immersion and realism. Dark Sword takes a different approach where it's all about combat combos and the dynamic sequences so it really feels like a product from the Asian market. The graphics for Quest look pretty great as well as the textures and the models. Everything here is custom like nothing was made by basic assets and something you already saw. The game throws you like immediately into the combat and stuff. There's no tutorial per se but you kind of learn on the go and it's kind of like a sort of gargantua style of experience where you can either play the campaign solo or in co-op mode with a bunch of other modes coming up I don't know when. <laughs> I mean it is my style knowing that in my MMORPG days I was constantly playing something called Vindictus. It was like the dawn of non-target genre where nothing is point and click everything you just swing your weapons and fight like that and this really reminds me of that. The game looks complicated but it really isn't if you get a hold of the mechanics and now in come to us they will invest in this because they have money <laughs> simple as that if we will play this in the future or not i think yeah but just like with any other recent release who knows when <laughs> let's go to the gameplay stand up fresh soul i am move now can i turn though <laughs> Oh Jesus Christ, okay. <laughs> what the time? <laughs> it just starts immediately. Come to me. <laughs> What's going on? Embrace the power of the Dark Sword. Rise from oblivion. Rise anew, my champion. Prepare for battle. It is time to walk the path of the Seeker. Bring me the blessings of Sephiroth. Hmm, I smell a fresh soul. Wow. This is just the first step of many steps you must take. Yes, but I would like to have some settings, please. I don't think I'm supposed to be here. <laughs> okay, I found what I wanted. Uh, let's go back because <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> you. You have no idea how long I've been waiting for you. The days of the Spider Queen ends today. This stage looks incredible. For Quest, I mean. The textures or like the resolution might be a little bit low in the distance, but in close up it's fine. Okay. I'm not sure about this HUD on the bottom. Oh, this is dynamic. Is 
Der Schuss halt Pisco. Okay. What the hell is going on? The next floor awaits. Take what you need and continue onwards. So we have like melee. This. Wow. <laughs> Let's see, Mala. I mean, I can clearly tell this was made for the Asian market. Like, it's so their style, which is my style. <laughs> like, I grew up on games like that. I mean, besides the fact that there are no physics going on, this is more like a hack and slashy, pure action in gameplay. Which what was my taste in the Punk King times. In VR, I mean, I guess it depends, but I want to play more. <laughs> or something. I don't know if you have dashes, we have like a blink. Charges. But it's fun that we can choose our playstyle in the moment. Definitely mobility. Like, you can instantly tell the flair of Asian game. <laughs> like, there's a lot of stages. <laughs> I mean, if you're talking specifics, the bow could draw the arrows from your behind. So far, that's all. <laughs> This is also made for multiplayer, it seems like. I think I saw the option, the menu. The model's high quality as well, like... Unique textures. I'm getting sweaty.
Those are the bonuses I take. Dash cans, equipment. It's clear to read. Oh my god, it's like one, two, three, five more. It's like a standing total. I don't know if we were able to do it for the overview. Maybe I'll speedrun it. The boss fights here should be pretty good, considering current mechanics. Ew! What the? Boomer. <laughs> Okay. Healing, I guess, for more safety. Okay, <laughs> we have a summon. So detailed as well. I'm not gonna lose this up. What? <laughs> we can launch them in air or something? Oh, he grabs my items as well, cool. But I feel like we'll be playing more of this, like... Absolutely! It's only six! <laughs> Stop dancing! I think he's healing. Oh, that's beefy.
gets timing. I'm finding my groove. Repetitive and like the challenge is real. <laughs> I don't know. Looks like I'm launching them in air. So there are some deeper mechanics, I just need to discover it. the higher combo the more damage, okay. I'm wet. I need like a backup. <laughs> I'm tired and like... <laughs> and this is the alarm, like... I could continue, I guess. Maybe I'll just cut to the ending section. Just real quick, cause uh, I can't like... Oh, I can't do it. <laughs> or I'll just do a prolonged overview.
screw that. Like, this seems too good to be true. Though, the challenge just keeps going. I mean, okay. <laughs> Oh wow. My guy, can you hide? <laughs> and he's dead. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Cheese it somehow. Oh, what was that? He doesn't take damage when he's charging. What? Oh, if I press on him. I can kind of bash. That's impossible. Now, I'll spend like two hours here. This is not for now. <laughs> okay, just uh, real quick here what's going on. I'll definitely play co-op in the future because it seems like the game was made for that. There's like a crafting so you think thing. You can forge a weapon? I can buy better weapons from the stuff that I gathered. Though I thought I lost all progress. But it's so weird that the game threw me instantly, not even in the tutorial, just straight on the battlefield to die essentially. We can upgrade the weaponry, create new ones, like yeah, this is essential Asian system. Is that racist? No, it's like their own style of gaming. You just craft what you can in terms of the money and the level. Progress either alone or in co-op. He can... Buy? Sell? Ah, oh, okay. If we have money, but not the items to craft. It's like I would be playing something mobile, but in VR. Which is what this developer provides. <laughs> and there's a lot of mods that are coming up soon, but not yet available. And I think that's it in this menu. Unless something happens here. What's this? <laughs> ah, the... Monsters I collected. Oh! Or a training station. <laughs> I think I love it. It's hard to tell because it keeps it simple with the options, settings and then the combat system. It's pure arcade, it's pure action, it's pure <laughs> Japanese. Like. 
It reminds me of the times that I've been playing games like that constantly. It's something different for the platform, a nice change from everything physics based because not everything has to be. Graphics looks nice, the resolution the distance is kinda low but I'll pass on that. I like that there are combos, there's combat variety if you have close range, long range, upgrades with the progression. There are different stuff happening on the arena as well so you need to be careful where you step. And there's a lot of stuff to discover because this was from this stage. I'm pretty sure the boss three more racks. Whatever's happening here. Okay. To me it's pretty good though I have a specific taste and it might be not for everyone but it is for me. 